What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So, Beauty and the Beast, Tom, Skull Island, Logan, Episode 8, Last Jedi, the teaser best trailer. love letters to Hollywood that we have this ever seen. This film is a masterpiece. So, until the next time, goodbye. Mandy is directed by Panos Cosmatos, and this is a very, very interesting film. It is a film that I actively went out to try and find, and I went to this local really local. I went to this art house cinema in New York City called IFC Center. It's a really cool place. Definitely check it out if you're ever in New York City. Um, but they were showing this film and I went into the city with a friend uh, who also loves Nicolas Cage, uh, expecting to see something crazy. Because I'd seen the trailers and I read articles. It premiered at Sundance back in January and I saw the trailer for it. And basically I was just very, very excited for this film and it's it's fantastic <laughs> mandy is uh, a thoroughly original innovative unique weird crazy crowd pleasing in a very weird way film first off i just want to say it's probably the most gorgeous film i've ever seen if you've seen any picture from it any of the trailers you know how gorgeous this film is. Every single frame is just soaked in a gorgeous pink, blue, red. Every single frame is shot gorgeously. I don't know off the top of my head who the cinematographer was, but he did such a great job. And it also goes down to Panos Cosmatos, because clearly he had a very, very unique vision. So the film is basically about Nicolas Cage and his girlfriend, Mandy. They have a very quiet, peaceful existence. They live out in the woods in the 80s, and they have a very ideal lifestyle. And then this is completely turned on its head when a uh, crazy cult uh, led by a guy called Jeremiah Sand, they kidnap Mandy, torture her, kill her, and Nicolas Cage goes on a blood-soaked revenge quest and Mandy is just fantastic. One really interesting part is that it's basically two different films. The first hour or so, uh, the film's two hours and it's basically split down the middle. The first hour or so is a very slow building, uh, slightly pretentious in some moments, artsy film. Uh, still gorgeous though. This is the bit where uh, you get the relationship established, the cult is introduced, she gets kidnapped and it basically ends, the first half ends, with Nicolas Cage witnessing her death and then that sparks the thing in his head, he wants to go on this huge revenge quest. The second uh, second half, it's, I was going to say second film, it basically feels like a second film, is the revenge story. And this is quite possibly one of my favourite hours of any film I've ever seen. Just uh, without that first half, the second half wouldn't be nearly as effective. Because there is genuine emotion built up in that first half. You really care about Nicolas Cage because you see how he interacts with his girlfriend. You want him to hunt down every single last member of this cult and all of the people connected to the cult who helped in the... Uh, capture and you just you're cheering him on and uh, the action scenes the way that he hunts these people down they're so stylish they are brutal bloody gory and I loved every single one there is a chainsaw on chainsaw fight that I really hope becomes like a classic action scene because <laughs> I really don't want to get into, uh, into any spoilers because I really thoroughly want people to go out and try and seek this film and see it in a cinema experience it with people that's what i did uh people were cheering i was cheering i had a grin on my face with pretty much every single kill that he has hunting these people down it's such a satisfying feeling just watching him kill these people <laughs> needless to say nicholas cage is fantastic people know him for his more over the top roles and most of the time or at least in some of his more you know campy so bad they're good films that he just does it for the sake of doing it and it's not really anchored in a decent story mandy is finally a perfect showcase for all his freak out moments and they arrive in an abundance in the second half there are so many classic nicholas cage freak outs so many times really where he, he, he pulls a face and in any other film it would come off so silly but it's so perfect it is so hilarious there are so many funny moments amidst all the violence in this film it's just such a unique 
combination of visuals and story and the music in this film especially this one composition called uh, it's the the love theme from Mandy uh, composed by Johan Johansson his final composition before he died it's it's fantastic it just adds so much extra depth and weight to all the stuff that you're watching so yeah if you can't tell already I really really loved Mandy I would so love to see it again the only real issue that I have is that sometimes in the first half it does get very slow this leader of the cult he goes on some very long speeches and you're not really sure where he's going with it but all the while the film looks gorgeous and without that slightly slow first half you wouldn't have such a fantastic satisfying revenge quest in the second half I'm gonna give Mandy an A Definitely try and check this one out. Nicolas Cage is fantastic. Andrea Riseborough is also really good as Mandy in the uh, limited, somewhat limited role that she has. Without her, you wouldn't really have much of a story. Uh, just the way that the film is uh, lensed, the way the story is written with the sort of two separate films, each with a different title card. The title card Mandy comes halfway through the film. Like, that's, just, that's just such a unique thing. And being original isn't always a good thing but Mandy makes possibly the strongest case and I've seen Isle of Dogs this year that was my previous favorite original film of the year Mandy makes such a strong case that Hollywood should be producing more and more original films like this give a director like Panos Cosmatos a director with a clear and defined vision give him a big budget film see what he can do see what crazy original innovative things he could bring to a superhero film anything like that I would love to see what he does next with a bigger budget so yeah, all in all, Mandy is fantastic. Definitely go and see it. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Mandy. If you guys have seen it, let me know what you thought, definitely. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>